actually have a relocate play once again and go for that bottom melee racks. And sure enough, there's the relocate. They're going to try and trade this one up. If they get the melee racks and uh, will trade that one away from Roshan, I think MVP will be happy. Unfortunately, the glyph is there, and MVP, they're going to have to relocate back, it seems like, without this one. Spend some quality farming time. March is almost finished off his Abyssal. Uh, He's got 3,500 TP in. He could be in some serious troubles. Now Pasha joins in. The big damage dealer is here. March now pops his BKB. Mag is also here on the side in order to stop Febby from being able to get a good relocate, but it's still up, and he's going to make the play now. Mag comes in. Febby, no! The battery assault stopped him, and that means they will both end up falling. Vega Squadron now on the march straight through the middle lane to try and end this game, too. But Pasha just seems to be a beast in the front lines. He's got that Aegis and is willing to allow himself to die in order to get these oh, buildings. March goes down here. March. He can't afford to go down. He's trying to get back to the fountain. Meanwhile, Pasha gets a clutch shallow crave out from the Dazzle. The Aegis is not going down just yet. Sam with the Slayer. He's going to go down instead. Finally, there goes our Aegis. Big Echo Slam being laid down by no one but a hook shot to stop the chain stun. Mag might just give up his life for that one. No, he actually four steps away. Now, Pasha is in the middle of the enemy base. He's got no remedy. He can't oh, he gets to go down. He gets back. He ends up going down as well. MVP Phoenix draw this game out a bit long. Oh, and they go for the relocate in this mid, too, and they're putting so much pressure. They immediately force the buyback, but if March, March goes down, down, he's going to be locked up in the hook shot. They need to be able to get the relocate out, but it's not there in time. March is down for 100 seconds. And so they're like, we have to go for this. There's not a better option that we're going to get. March is down for another 30 seconds. They do have Glyph available to them, and just taking a look at the buyback. I mean, MVP Phoenix... Yeah, they're just hoping. I think they're gonna have to give up this mid lane. Raxol is actually gonna come in. He really wants to ignore to win this fight right here, right now. He's gonna go for the Razor and the Wiz. They get a bolt. There's gonna be some buybacks, but QO's down as well. Both the Razor and the Lena are being forced into a buyback. The Bristleback up in just five seconds. The Melee Rax is gonna go down soon. But no, the Slide of Fist coming out does a bit of chip damage to both QO and Kaipi. But no, they actually can't get the Melee Rax. And now they're gonna be caught here. QO is gonna be able to get the stun up on Mag. He has no four staff play. There's only the Shallow Grave. Hook shot to the side, TP out. Does he actually get away from this one? No, the Yule Scepter is there in time. 2-0 stops him dead in his tracks, and they get the kill in the end. Two down on the side of Vega Squadron, and the Wisp is coming up in 25. Perhaps it's now MVP Phoenix's turn to be on the offense. He off has end. to just be the first one popped off because they can't lose anybody else. That tier three tower is already so low. First bit of damage out for the Sonic Wave, and Slide of Fist is there, but the tier three tower will be going down, and March still looks plenty healthy. Now they're chains, they're just trying to stall this damage up as much as possible. March is down to about a half HP. QO comes in, tries to go for Sam Slayer. Now the Echo Slam on Oh my god, Pasha is locked down. Stall great to save. Pasha might just be able to get out the Revenant away. KP desperately needs that kill, but he can't get another red to jump out. And he is fine, but March doesn't care. He goes straight for the last tier four tower. MVP Phoenix. They're fighting for their lives here in the TI wildcard series. Pasha comes back, ready to go, ready to rumble. Slide of Fizz gets laid out on two. Solo's coming forward, locks down KP. He is down, and he does not have a buyback. He's down for two minutes. The throne is completely exposed. The melee Rax is open, too. But MVP Phoenix are going to be forced into yet another retreat. That back door to protection is gone, and that relocate play, it could be an all-in for MVP Phoenix available. That's why Vegas wants to try to back out, but it's too late. They've already locked out Solo. He's going to be taken out. Meanwhile, in the middle lane, March desperately trying to go for that melee Rax. Mega Creeps, he really wants it, but Pasha is taking care of the rest of the enemy team inside the Radiant base. He goes for QO. Yule Scepter being locking him down. The melee rack stays alive inside the entire base. And Vega Squadron, if they can get away from Pasha, this will be a win. But Pasha being locked down by the Basher. March is now locked up, and Pasha will be able to get out. They keep their melee racks alive, but they're still stuck in a situation where they can't push in. Yeah, March being able to solo hold them back from being able to win. And his buyback's about to cool down at the same time. And now Vega's in such a precarious situation because if they lose that Mega Creep or uh, that last melee racks, it's going to be really difficult for them to come back from this disadvantage. But Vega's going to go for their own racks right now. But I don't even think MVP are too concerned about this because what matters to them more is the fact that they, they're going to have buyback soon and the fact that their throw is untouched. Yeah, the Earthshaker is a oh, big critical march. He's got to be careful here. They can't afford to let him go down. Febby with the save. He's going to be there with the heals. Now no one actually gets bashed up with the BKB active, but he does manage to get the blink away. It looks like Sam and Slayer is going to be completely forfeit here. Pasha turns around, gets another good chase in order to protect his ally. I actually think and MVP just yeah, go there goes the relocate in. They're going to try and go for that melee racks. There goes the hook shot. They're trying to lock down March desperately. He's at half HP, but he comes the BKB. Going straight for the melee racks. One, two, three more. Oh, the fist has to get just 
before he dies. He picks up Vegas, and he's got a buyback to be able to defend. Vegas Squadron are now left with the prospect of either defending against Mega Creeps or going for the all-in. They're pinging right now onto the throne. They're saying, we have to go for this right now. There's not a whole lot of opportunities. Once those creep waves build up, it's going to be so difficult for them to hold because the only one that can reliably clear things here. is he's able to take it down. But Vegas Squadron, desperate for being able to get this clean 2-0 up against MVP Phoenix, who are fighting for their lives here in this TI tournament. Vegas Squadron, start going for their tier 4 towers. MVP Phoenix just trying to slow them down as much as possible. There goes the buyback out from March. Hook shot in. Well, Mag, he perhaps is a bit too deep. Managed to get off the Laguna Black, but Mag is still alive. March, meanwhile, trying to go for Pasha. Locked out by the Echo Slam. Pasha dropping. Oh, it's going to be. No, he doesn't. He doesn't drop. He gets the remnant out, but the racks. The throne is exposed. They went for the relocation. Pasha trying to make the defense here. There's no one. creep going for the creep, but now the throne is dying. 700 HP. That's all that's left. QO desperate to be able to get this one. 200 HP. It's over. MVP Phoenix. They get game number two. And they push it. They push it to a game three. The only way you would see these series going is to a game number three between these two teams. I don't even care who wins right now. After that game, MVP Phoenix, time and time again, they get rebuffed, eventually just outmaneuvering Vega, who puts up a brilliant fight throughout the entire game. Defense after defense, they pushed it to the wire with that Divine Rapier. Pasha didn't even lose that Divine, and they lost the game.